My name is Mindy and I work as a radiation therapist. My typical day is spent in a radiation therapy center. We use ionizing radiation to treat cancer patients using a prescription that the doctor prescribes. Each plan is different for each patient and we have to use their outline as a guide for every patient's treatment. We create a mold depending on the patient's anatomy that we're treating. If we're treating their upper body, we have a specific mold that will hold their arms completely still and immobilized. If we're treating their lower body, we have another mold for that. So we, the, our main goal when we first get the patient on the table is to get them in the same exact position every day. After we leave the treatment room, we then take x-ray images of the patient and that allows us to localize the tumor and know exactly where to treat. After we are done treating, we then must document everything that we do, including the dose that the patient gets for that day, and if any patient has had any extra side effects for that day, we may record that as well. As a radiation therapist, we also act as a counselor, both physically and emotionally. We must pay attention to the side effects that the patient has and act as a counselor to give them advice on to things they can do to prevent side effects. We also have to be there for them emotionally because these patients are going through a very tough time in their life and we just have to be there for them when they have problems. And as a radiation therapist, we also have to pay a lot of attention to detail. If we notice any changes in the patient's mental status or if they just, if their skin starts looking like it's burned or just anything that's going wrong with the patient, we have to be able to notice it without the patient telling us about it first. And our, tip, our hours are typically Monday through Friday from 8 to 5 and typically no call. The requirements to be a radiation therapist, um, you must do, get a degree first. You actually can get an associate's degree, a bachelor's degree, or even just a certification in radiation therapy. Um, it's good to a lot of places like for you to have a background in radiography. So you could actually go to a two-year program first for radiography and get your associates or just a certification in radiography and then apply to a therapy program, a radiation therapy program. Um, from that program, it's typically one to two years and that's you could get an associates in that, a certification, or you could get a bachelor's with it. Um, then you would go on to take an examination, the ARRT examination for radiation therapy and pass it. Some states require that you pass it, some states don't require that you take it at all. Um, to be a radiation therapist, there's no internship required after school, but during your programs, the radiation therapy program, you do spend about half of your time in the clinic getting really good hands-on experience so that you're fully prepared for the job when you graduate. A background in Good math and sciences helps a lot. Having taken some biologies and anatomy will help you a lot because you are dealing with the human body and having a good knowledge of anatomy and how the body works helps out a lot. But you do learn what you need to know in the radiation therapy program. Um, you should have a pretty good GPA to get accepted into a radiation therapy program. And you should also be very detail oriented because as a radiation therapist you should have to pay very close attention to detail to notice any kind of side effects or patient reactions. Some of the best parts of my job are that you actually get to help people. Um, this job is very rewarding. After you treat these cancer patients, they after they've gone through their Eight, up to eight week course of treatment, you get to know them very well and it's kind of sad to see them go because you built such a good relationship with them, but they let you know that you have you know, been an important part of their life just by being there and treating them and doing your job. So just in that, the patients actually let you know that they appreciate what you're doing and that is very rewarding. Um, as a radiation therapist, you meet many people from all all walks of life you get to meet so many different people and learn so much about them and I think that even makes you a better person by learning you know a lot about all these different people a radiation therapist has good hours typically from you know Monday through Friday 8 to 5 um, normally no call 
Um, every once in a while there will be an emergency patient that has to be added on on a weekend, but that's very rare. Radiation therapists have typically good pay and I guess the biggest, the best part about the job, like I said, is just it's very rewarding. And um, there are a few p bad parts to the job. It can be hard because all these patients that you work with, you want to see them be okay after you treat them and to have their cancer, you know, cured. But not all the patients that you treat are going to be cured. And you have to know that going into it, that it can be hard at times. But you have to know that whatever you do, you're doing the best you can for these patients and they know it. And as far as getting a job, depending on what part of the country li you live in, some parts of the country have, you know, flooded job market, so it's hard to get a job. And some parts of the country, it's real easy to get a job. It just depends on where you live. So if you're wanting to go to school for radiation therapy, you might want to check out the job market, see how many centers are in your area and be willing to travel and move to a different area to get a job. My final advice is first and foremost keep your GPA up starting in high school and keep it up through college. If you think that radiation therapy is something that you would like to go into then you need to shadow a radiation therapist, contact a cancer center or a hospital and see if you can spend the day or a few days shadowing one of the radiation therapists there so you can really get a good idea about what they do on a daily basis. I would suggest going to radiography school first and then applying to radiation therapy school and you would have the best chance at getting a job if you have that radiography background and a bachelor's. You can't, you do get the same education no matter what degree you get, you get the same education as far as radiation therapy goes but in the job market, you'll have a heads up with a bachelor's. Um, you need to stand out in clinicals. Uh, radiation therapy is a small world and everybody knows everybody. So whenever you're going for job interviews and getting letters of recommendation, you want them to have really good things to say about you. So stand out in clinicals and do your best. Be real hands-on. And in this field, these patients are going through a really tough time in their life and they need very caring people to work with them and people that can make these patients look forward to coming every day and if you're someone that can do that and make these patients lives better just by you being in it and making them have a good time coming every day then this job would be right for you.